Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I just want to showcase some public APIs we can use for free. Because one of my most watched videos is about how we can connect to an API in Java, and in this video I'll showcase a public API called MetaWeather. And as far as I know, right now it's no longer online, so therefore I want to showcase a few other options, just in general, what we would do when we get the knowledge of these APIs. So I just found five free ones we can use without having to get a key or anything complex. So that would just be simple if we would like to test basic application or test and create some basic project. So we have these five, we have cat facts, we have board, we have 85, we have dogs and we have jokes. So first let's just have a look at cats for example. So what I would do is I get the simple URL, which is slash fact in this case which will give me, so when I input into a browser or in some kind of application using a call to this URL, we get the response of a JSON object, in this case with a fact, which is the cat fact, and we get a length of this fact. For example, a steady diet of dog food may cause blindness in your cat. It lacks touring. And we can reload to get another fact. You can see just a very simple API, and you can use this, for example, if you want to create a basic project, just for the sake of it, showcasing some random cat facts, and then we just use this API to get the facts. And I think what's important to note when working with these free public APIs is that we can often, not with all of them, but with most of them, we just go to like the main URL without API inputs. We can then have a look, in this case, for example, it tells us a bit about how we can, what information we can get. For example, we can get fact, just get a random fact, or we can get facts in plural to get all the facts they have in the web page. So we get multiple facts, we get this fact, we get facts. So that's probably all they have in there. I don't know if they have it back in database or it's just a simple text file, but something. Get breeds, get list of breeds. So as you can see, we can go onto like the main page of this catfact.ninja and then have a look at which API endpoints we can use. So let's have a look at another one. We also have this board API, which simply gets us a random suggestion of an activity to do. So let's say you're creating some kind of motivational app, for example. And in this case, we get the activity, take a spontaneous road trip with some friends. We get the type of activity. This is, for example, a social activity. And we get the participants, so how many should participate for a price level and some accessibility. A few, few notes of information. Again, we can reload. Get another fact or suggestion. Get a few. Again, we can take a look at the main page, bordapi.com. Get a better understanding of how it works. We have some documentation, which is also, also often the keyword when I look for if you want to know more documentation. Again, here they have a list of activity types or like information about the activities. We can get activity, we can activity by key, so probably activity based on specific activity because all the activities have like a value. We can probably choose based off the type of Activity, so we can search, so they have kind of like a built-in search-like information. Yeah, again, just trial and error. As mentioned, these are all public free APIs, so we can just use them directly without any keys. So normally when using an API, we need some kind of API key, which would be sent as part of the message to the API to tell them I have access to this API. So can I please get some information? But in this case, we can just access it directly. Age of I predict the age of a person based on their name. So here we would send them, not just an API, we would input a name. So in this case, we use the name Milad and we get an age suggestion back of 29. That's a bit low, but let's just input something like John 58. I would assume this is just random, so I could input anything and it just get a random number. Yeah, A. Again, let's have a look if we can't access 
web page, we cannot, it just inputs missing hmm. input from the user. So we do not seem to have any more information, but again, just some very simple APIs. If you're doing some kind of school project or just want to learn more about how we can access and use this API in any basic project, use any of these. And I will, of course, also leave all this information in the description if you want to have a look at all the APIs yourself. But this one is also a bit fun. We have an API about dogs where we get a dog image. So now we do not get all the image or all the information at first. We get a link to an image and we could then access this image more or less in the same way we access in our API. In this case, for example, we get this picture of a dog and so on. We can get another picture. We're simply being sent position of pictures on the web. Which we can then use for, I don't know, but some project. And last, we have a jokes API, which we'll not take a look at now, but that is the basic concept of us having public APIs. And sometimes it can be a bit troublesome finding these API online, but here are some of them. And as mentioned again, these are not APIs which you'd probably be used in, in some real stuff in production some real apps, these are more thought of, at least that's what I can tell from these APIs and from the basic documentation. It's planned to be used for some smaller projects, some school projects, just the concept of learning of APIs. So I would highly suggest if you want to know more about any of these, try using them. I think it's just actually quite simple. It's a showcase of your time. So you can just take these links, put them in your URL and get some responses of JSON back. And then again, the next level, is to then use them in some project. You can use them in any project, some simple app. And here again, I will mention my other video I did. So in that video, I showcased how we can use Java, to connect to an API where we did the simple use URL like this, and then give it to some kind of Java code. And this code will then make the request for the API for the JSON data. This data will then be returned. I will then use it for whatever. So for example, we can make the simple app, get, suggestion for what to do when you're bored and we just based on this API get a suggestion. So the concept of these APIs is that instead of having some local data, maybe these are not the best examples, but instead of having some local data, we then have the, some API used to get this data so we don't have to, for example in this case, have all the information about cats locally stored. So if you enjoyed this quick or oh, I rant about APIs and these public APIs, Please do like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.